Hi friends, it's Sarah from Ruffles and Rain Boots. I'm going to be running through an XCS 2.5 software tutorial. This is a very robust program. If you aren't using these kinds of features, you're kind of doing a little extra work. So first things first, if you're new here, you can go to your YouTube settings, go to playback speed and slow this down if you want to follow along. I do not put fluff in my videos and I tend to go quickly. Now, first off, we're going to log into XCS, come up here and do the check for updates. You can see I am using 2.5.2. I'm on a laptop and it's April 3rd, 2025. If you need a new version, you can go into your software or you can go to xtool.com forward slash pages forward slash software and hit the download button. You can see the uh, desktops are on version 2.52 and the mobiles on 2.2. So I went into my iPad into Procreate. I doodled some birthday designs for my daughter's friend. Turned on the M1 Ultra, turned on the hot foil pen and the mat. This electrostatic mat is fire. I like it a lot. You can see it's moving around, but when we engage that mat, well, that bat girl is stuck. So while my hot foil pen is heating up, I'm gonna drag in my birthday doodles and just drag and drop. I'm going to always display it in the original size. Now this is built for 4K, so I'm going to come up to the crop menu at the top and bring in the sides. That'll help process everything a little quicker. We now can go up to the edit button to remove all this white. You can hit, there, there are probably 50 ways to do this in 50 different programs, but I needed to do a lot of internal work. So I used the magic wand to touch in all these internal pieces here to remove that white background. Be sure to hit save to lock that in. And now we can create a card. So I'm going to just put this off to the side, hit R on my keyboard, or you can come over to the basic shapes menu and choose rectangle. Just draw anything you like, come up to the uh, aspect ratio and hit that center infinity sign looking thing to unlock it. Now I'm going to choose command or control K to go into inches for millimeters. If you want a five by five card, you actually have to type in 10 by five. So it cuts it out so you can fold it just FYI. So I'm actually going to do two things here. One of which you may choose not to do. I'm going to create uh, a square that is five by five so I can easily line up my drawing once I get it all ready for my hot foil pen. Now I'm going to move the drawing out of the way and the only reason I'm doing that is actually because I'm going to show you we're just going to line these up by hitting um, a line right. That's it. And we can adjust this later but again all we need is this drawing and the square in order to actually align it. Now if you are perceptive you'll notice that I only have the engrave option on this and don't worry, that's fine. We're gonna go over and lock our big rectangle and just align these two pieces to center and we will actually align them a little bit better in just a second. All right, now on the image, if I choose hot foil pen, it says processing is not supported. Why? Because this is a bitmap. No matter what selections you make, it won't work. So we have a little task. We could go into Adobe, we could go into Convert.io, a whole bunch of different things, but we actually don't have to. If we come up to the top menu and hit trace image, I'm gonna leave mine on auto trace. Center trace would be for like a line fill. Um, auto trace will allow me to get the images I want. Now, you see two items. One is our original image down here. I'm gonna call that PND, um, PNG doodle. And now we have this group up here that is a vector doodle. That is an SVG. We just made an SVG, congratulations, you did a good job. So I'm actually not gonna work with the PNG doodle at all anymore, okay? So you can actually lock that, turn off the op output, or even just remove it entirely. We want the vector doodle. Now you can see here, if I change it to fill transfer, it looks like it's filled in, that's what we want. We also wanna remove that square because we don't need it anymore. So our rectangle, we want to turn off because we're not going to process that first on our hot foil pen. I'm going to choose electrostatic mat. If you don't have one, you just choose the auto measure on your sticky mat. Now for materials, when using the hot foil pen, you're not going to have a lot of options. It hasn't even been technically released yet. So I'll just tell you, you may want to do some testing. I've done mine. I have a couple of settings that I'd like to use depending on the paper. So as you can see, I'm going to choose 
my settings are going to be 132, 10, 1, and no stroke, which is a little thing down here at the bottom. So you can type those in now or later. I just fluffed it because first thing we need to tell the laser where we're going to process and that is by marking. So I'm going to choose a rectangle. I'm going to put my module in the top left most portion of my paper and hit the white button. I'm going to move it to the bottom right and hit the white button. And that's going to produce this rectangle on my screen that tells the machine, hey, here's where I want to work on only in here. So I, end, I hit end marking and done. And now you can see uh, that outside rectangle, right? Here is something you do not have to do. I'm just moving this into place, but I'm going to flip mine. Now, the only reason I'm doing this is because I had a theory that my pressure isn't working the same in that top left corner. And if yours is the same, I'm going to show you how to fix it. So again, my rectangle is off of output. Now I can go ahead and finalize my settings. Bold, fill transfer, 132, 10, and 1. I'm going to put down some hot foil. I do use the mat to sort of help it stay in place. So I pop in one sticker, cut it, pop in all the rest of the stickers. And now we're ready to process this bad boy. When we choose line transfer, it's like nine minutes. I just, I just spoiled it there. If we choose fill transfer, it is quite a significant difference at 54 minutes, but it depends on what look you're going for. I want the 54 minute. I'm going to sit here and work anyway, because the machine is really quiet. This is exactly how fast it goes. I'm, I'm not a big believer in speeding things up for effect. When you see, I'm taking off that foil. Look at the very far left. You see what I mean? So I'm just going to put another piece of foil down there and you're going to say, Sarah, you have to do the whole thing again. No girl. No guy, we don't. We're gonna copy our doodle, change it to a different color. I accidentally made two copies, you know. Uh, and then we're gonna line it up. And then, let me lock the other doodle that I don't need as well. And then now, I'm just going to edit this doodle. All of these are individual little vectors. And I'm going to remove all the individual little vectors I don't want. So just highlight, delete, highlight, delete, highlight, delete inside of the layers panel. You don't even have to ungroup it. Now I did a little bit more than was actually necessary. I popped up my pressure to 150 and now it's time to cut. So as you can see my settings, I have to turn off the doodle because we don't need the doodle anymore. We're going to be processing this rectangle. So we have to click on that, choose the output uh, on after we choose blade cut. And now you can see we have the option here, fine point blade, all of that. Now your settings are gonna be your settings. Those are all in there. I do have to choose the electrostatic mat from the upper black bar menu. I'm just making sure everything else is um, no output. I removed my extra foil and you can see I'm gonna pop in the blade. It takes like 12 seconds. I'm gonna process this. And again, you can see it's gonna take 26 seconds because I ran it twice. <laughs> and uh, you can see this is exactly how fast it goes. So if you are not on version 2.5, I urge you to download it because this is a very robust piece of software. As you can see, when I pull this out, I'm gonna go ahead and save this file. It helps me save my settings. It also helps me never have to do this again. And I have a quick project. Here you can see the item in natural light. The majority of this process without fail, but I believe in full disclosure. So at the very bottom, you can see my little hat and that last part of the squiggle didn't work as well. So I'm going to be looking at my settings. And speaking of settings, if you need to know how to do a material test, I have that here on the channel. And that is it for me. I hope this was helpful. Please like the video and subscribe for more laser fun.